What's happening guys? We're back. We're gonna build the floor pans today. All right, so a fairly simple episode this week, guys. Uh, I just don't have a whole lot of time on my hands. So we got that big chunk of aluminum that we brought home like two weeks, two, two weeks ago, whatever. Anyhow, I got it in the, in the shop, so it's warmed up. It's not freezing cold anymore. So we're gonna turn it into some floor plans. Um, the process should be fairly simple. We'll basically just clamp it to the underside of the chassis sharpie marker out the kind of the outline of the passenger compartment and then uh, jigsaw it out and then rivet it to the bottom of the car uh, riveting it to the bottom of the car is going to suck because we're going to have to lay on our backs and drill the holes but uh, got to do it so the floor pan is going to come off again when we do the the seat support rails because we can't mount the seats just to the aluminum it just won't be strong enough so we're not gonna do a whole lot of rivets, just enough to kind of hold it in for now. And then when we strip the whole car back and we're able to flip it upside down, uh, it'll be way easier to drill the rest of the holes. So we'll do that then. So let's uh, wrestle that big sheet of aluminum underneath the car and get to work. One side done, now we just gotta do it all over again. is the floorboards installed. Uh, we did have a bit of a tactical error when we were installing them. Uh, for those of you following along at home, they were like, why is he drilling an eighth inch hole and then using a 332 seconds rivet? 
uh, because I didn't know. So I was using my little uh, Mastercraft rivet multi-pack and uh, there's eight 3.30 seconds and 5.30 seconds rivets in here and I just kept grabbing the 3.30 seconds rivets thinking they were 1 8 and they went in, they, they held it up, kinda. Uh, but then as soon as I put any weight on it, they just ripped out of the holes. So I went through and re-drilled all the them out on the driver's side and uh, replaced them with eighth inch rivets. The eighth inch rivets still don't uh, don't provide enough hold for me to, to really put my full weight on the floor. They will still rip out. So we're gonna still have to use the safety boards in there when we got the, the seat in there so we don't fall through the floor. Uh, in the final iteration of the car, uh, those pans are gonna get glued onto the bottom of the car. Uh, and then we're also gonna like triple the amount of rivets and we'll probably go up to a bigger rivet when we do it. But uh, for right now, they do hold the pans up. So we're just gonna call it good enough. Uh, we do have to drill out all the rivets on the passenger side and replace those with eight inch rivets because uh, they're still 330 seconds. Or maybe we won't. Maybe we just won't sit on it. Maybe we'll just put a note on it. Wet paint or something. Uh, so those are in, those are done. Um, that's all that I'm gonna do this week. Next week, I think we're going to finalize the steering shaft because uh, it's still uh, not mounted and, uh, and it's still a little bit long. So we're gonna cut that down and weld on our hub and everything and get the steering all kind of finalized because one of the next things I wanna do with this car is load it up and take it over to my buddy's shop and put it on the race car scales and see what the total weight is right now uh, and what our weight distribution is front to rear so we can get an idea of what we need for springs because uh, with these steel bars in there, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a real stiff ride. So we need to order springs in order to uh, to move forward. And to do that, I need to know how much it weighs. So to do that, we need to be able to steer the car because we're gonna have to push it. So that's the plan for next week. We'll get the steering figured out, and then uh, let's we'll keep trucking away. So. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Go check us out on Instagram, Left Foot First Media. And we'll see you next week. I'm out of here.